Here goes nothing in three, two, one. What's up guys, I'm Brad from Redesign. Today we are designing and making a 3D printable music box. To be 3D printed, obviously. Typically music boxes are made out of metal. That's because the little teeth when they're made out of metal vibrate better than plastic teeth do. But we're gonna see if we can make it out of plastic. Now, by no means am I the first person to try this, but I kind of want to make it programmable so that you can change the tune as you spin it. Well, maybe not as you spin it, but so that you can change the tune. You don't have to just spin and play the same tune every single time. So without further ado, let's get into it. Starting with lots of prototyping. I had to figure out the right size for each tooth to make the best noise. In the end, I found that about five millimeters wide, one and a half millimeters thick, and anywhere from 50 to 30 millimeters long made the best noise. So now that we've got the perfect pick, I need to jump on Fusion and AutoCAD up the rest of the music box body. But if I just go straight to it, I'm definitely gonna have a bunch of errors come up because I'll just mess up so many times. So I'm first gonna head over and just sketch out some ideas and then head to AutoCAD and make it up. So let's go do that. Well, now that we have some bomb sketches, let's go ahead and throw it into Fusion. It goes nothing. A few moments later. Okay, uh, that took a lot longer than I thought. So instead, I'm just gonna walk you through the different features I made and how it worked. So here we are in Fusion. To start off, I have the base. And the hardest part was figuring out how to print as few parts as possible and still make it assemblable. So that's why there's this interesting design on the base. It has this funnel hole right here and this angled funneled slot right here. This would allow the drum that plays the teeth and the gear that turns it to be printed together, like so. Then the little gear holds the big gear in place and the crank handle just slots right onto the shaft of that little gear. Next, I had to make it programmable. So I cut a little coffin shaped slot in the drum and made a circular pattern all the way around the drum. Next, I made a similar shaped insert with like a small tolerance uh, away from those walls so that it can flex and be inserted into any of these slots. The uh, last one, kind of nice finishing touch that I made, is that the crank has a rotating handle that actually prints in place. So you can see right here, shaft extends from the crank with a wheel on it uh, that is only attached by a single circle all the way around. So that way I can break off the ring and have a nice rotating handle. It's just kind of one example of some awesome things you, go, you can do with 3D printing. Uh, so now I just need to slice this thing up and we can get the show on the road. All right, here we go. We've got the barrel, everything set up, looking nice. We got our base. Let's finally see if these guys fit. Put the nose in right here. Oh, I like butter. Mmm, look at that thing spin. Wow, that's what I'm talking about. All right, we got our pick. We'll go ahead and put some of these nuts in here. I mean, bolts. There we go. Try one. Nope, of course. Try two. Uh, nope. All right, here we go. Try three. And that's the a few moments later. If any of you don't take three tries to find the right Allen key, subscribe. I definitely need your wisdom. Okay, we got these handles. Nice and spinny. If I can get to spin. Okay, so we're gonna place this guy. In. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna place this guy in here. There we go. Oof, butter. Okay, and this handle right in there. Ah, nice. 
There we go. Woo! Okay. Pull out our picks. All right, in there. Here goes. But first, a word from today's sponsor. <laughs> JK, I'm not sponsored. Anyways. And. Ow! And. Ow! Now let's try setting up something a little more fun. So now with the help of this little cardboard box to amplify the sound, we can play around and make some better songs. Let's see if you can guess what this one is. Or this one. And these green picks were especially handy for this one. Even though I love this project, there are a couple things I want to change. First, the handle is super squeaky, which you guys could probably hear. Sorry for anybody wearing headphones. Also, there's only 16 spots all the way around the drum, so I can't really do like half notes or anything. So that's, that's another thing I wanted to work on. And lastly, this pick only has a few notes, and they're not even quite real notes. I just kind of had to wing it, so that's another thing I could improve on. Well guys, that's it for this time. If you liked it, leave a like below. If not, what you gonna do? Anyways, if you have a great idea on how I could redesign this, let me know. I'd love to hear down in the comments or feel free to email me at redesignchannel.gmail.com. I'd also love to see what kind of songs you guys come up with using this. So I left a link to all the files down below. Print it off, make a song, send me prank emails. I'd love to see it. Anyways, that's it for this time. See you next time.